Hi everyone, welcome to our PT Plus online lessons. Now the main topic for today's lesson is Highlight Correct Summary, where we will be introducing this question type together with some of the key information that you absolutely must know when you're preparing for Highlight Correct Summary. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Now, HCS or Highlight Correct Summary is in the listening part of your exam, which is the last part of your exam that goes for about 45 to 57 minutes. Okay, now before your listening section, which is basically after your reading section, you'll get an option to take a break for 10 minutes. Now, because in the listening section, all the audios are only played once, so you do want to make sure you're in the best form and you're able to maximize you know, your attention when listening in this part of the exam. So therefore, if you feel like taking the break will be very helpful for you to, you know, regather your focus, uh, definitely raise your hand and ask the examiner for that break. Okay, but do make sure you come back before the 10 minutes is up because your listening section will automatically start after that as well. So definitely give yourself enough time to come back. Okay, sit back down, get ready to pay attention in your listening section. Now, in terms of the order of the question types, Highlight Correct Summary will be the fourth question type that you face in the listening section of the exam. Now, keep in mind that in the listening part, it's actually split into two sections. The first section contains just the summarized spoken text uh, task, okay, and you'll get two to three of these questions. And the main reason for that is because each summarized spoken text question is timed individually. So you get 10 minutes each. Okay, so you've got an individual timer. But in section two, which is the remaining seven listening question types, these are timed as a whole. So you get one timer of about 23 to 28 minutes, just depending on how many questions there were in the end. But you get about this one timer to then uh, complete the entire section. So it's very important in this time for you to be managing your time well and making sure that you can allocate uh, sufficient time, especially to the question types that are worth more okay so let's look at what these question types are worth and specifically how does highlight correct summary compare okay now with highlight correct summary each HCS question is worth one mark and you will get two to three highlight correct summary questions okay so the total marks that this you know task basically is worth is two to three marks out of the entire listening section now you can see that that is a very very small proportion right compared to what we've got here summarized spoken text 20 to 30 marks we've got what right from dictation these are our top two question types and you can see that they're just worth 10 times more 20 times more marks um, than highlight correct summary okay so keep in mind that you know this also advises you on how you should be managing your time not just in the exam but also when you're preparing and studying for the exam Okay, now also highlight correct summary actually because you've got to read um, the summary options below and it's quite a, a chunk of text sometimes. So it does also affect or test your reading as well. So it contributes that to, to your reading too. Okay, but as you can see again, if we're looking at percentage of contribution, highlight correct summary only contributes 2% to your listening score, whereas summary spoken text. 21%, right from dictation, 25%, right? And then you've got a few more bigger ones like fill in the blanks and highlight incorrect words of about eight to 10% on average, okay? And then you've got over here, highlight correct summary, 2%, which is much, much smaller, and it does contribute another 2% to reading as well, okay? But as you can see here, what it is worth, this tells you about how you should be managing your time in the exam and also when you're preparing for it. All right, so therefore, again, we kept stressing which ones are the most important question types. And you can see the highlight correct summary is worth a lot less. So keep in mind, summarize spoken text, fill in the blanks, your top four, highlight incorrect words and write from dictation. These are your top four that you absolutely should be preparing a lot more for. And a lot of these have, especially, you know, write from dictation and summarize spoken text, they have very high exam question repetition rates. 
right? So the questions that you get in the practice, you know, they actually come up quite often in the exam and repeat themselves in the exam as well. So if you prepare fully for those, you actually stand a very high chance of getting a very big percentage or a big pie uh, of this 21%, okay? And keep in mind, these also contribute significantly to your other areas like writing as well. Another 15 and 20% from writing actually come from your summarized spoken text and your write from dictation. Okay, so that is definitely something to keep in mind in your studies. And also at the same time, remember that your listening section, it the marks doesn't just come from these eight question types alone. Your listening section also comes from your speaking question types, your speaking tasks, which are repeat sentence and retail lecture. And that's quite a big chunk. If you look at it, about 30% altogether is going to come from speaking itself. So definitely your time should be on the top four listening question types and also on your speaking tasks, especially repeat sentence and retail lecture, okay? Now, let's now have a look at the official question type introduction for Highlight Correct Summary. Highlight Correct Summary. For this item type, you need to select the summary that best matches the recording. We're not running out of oil. The first thing one can say with absolute confidence is that we're not about to run out of oil. You may prefer to listen first, make notes, and then read the summaries. Okay, so as you saw in the video, this is roughly the interface you might see in the exam. Okay, uh, usually the status box is a bit more in the center, okay, but it's, this is relatively similar. Now, a couple of things you need to take note of. Firstly, on the top right-hand side, you'll get to see the number of questions that you're on and also, very importantly, the timer. Remember that this timer is for the entire section, so all of the remaining seven listening tasks or question types are all under this one timer. Timer. So therefore, it's very important to keep your eye on it and keep track of it. Because what happens is, in Highlight Correct Summary, remember that it is that fourth question type here in the middle. Okay, and it's very important for you to manage your time here and also in Select Missing Word, MCQ, because there are these two massive question types right at the end that you want to make sure you leave enough time for so that you can really maximize and grab every single one of the points over here. Okay, if you're overly spending, you know, too much time on highlight correct summary, 10 minutes on one summary itself, you're not going to have any time left for these two and you're going to miss out on an entire chunk. Okay, keep in mind, for example, in write from dictation, just getting one word correct is one mark. That is the same as an entire highlight correct summary question. Right, so even the how easy it is to get marks is very different as well. It's a lot easier to be getting marks in these two sections at the end. So make sure you leave enough time for it, which means that over here, you want to really make sure you stick to the recommended time management that we're going to suggest in the next video as well. Okay, now remember that you also have 10 seconds of preparation time before the audio starts playing automatically. Okay, so this 10 seconds is also very important what you do with it so that you place yourself in the best position to be doing this question, okay, which we'll be sharing in our later skill videos as well. Now, the audio goes for about 30 seconds to 90 seconds, and then you'll have these passages summary options at the bottom. Uh, usually, you see a standard one about four. It can be three or it can be up to five or six, okay, just depending on the question itself, okay. Now, then uh, once, you know, the audio is done, it's time for you to select a summary. Of, of course, you want to select the one that best matches or describes or summarizes the recording. Remember, the recording only plays once, right? So you just have that one opportunity to be taking notes, applying your skills, your listening skills to it. So that's a very important time point. And we'll talk about the strategies and, and, and skills you need to be applying in that time. Okay. And finally, remember the highlight correct summary. There's only one correct summary. So you just need to choose one option. Uh, and that's it. And remember, stick to the time recommendation, select the option that you think is best, and then move on. Even if you're not sure, okay, pick the one that you think is closest, stick to the time, always stick to the time, and move to the next question. Okay, great. So that is, uh, that is it for this lesson, and I'll see you again next time on PT+. Plus. Mm -hmm.